Alrighty, so we want to go to Route 15. Where might we find Route 15? That is quite the question. And we know where it is, but like, what would be the best way to get there? Uh... And honestly, we could maybe just like travel to Vermilion City and then go from there. Or, actually, Fuchsia City would be much better. I'm not sure, have we uh, confirmed whether or not uh, Aerodactyl can like actually be seen alongside us? Oh my goodness! Oh yes, this is how I'm getting around from now on. Okay, uh, Eevee? We've got... You alright? Eevee looks tired. Okay, um, secret techniques. Uh, let's use the Sky Dash. We would like to go to... Fuchsia City. Alright, Aerodactyl, let's go! <laughs> oh man, this... It's kind of weird, the way it actually ends up working out, but it's so cool. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Would have been nice had they figured out how to do, like, you know, collision a bit better, so that the Aerodactyl's not just constantly disappearing, but... Off the Route 15 we go. Hello? Are you the kid who's working on the Pokedex? One of Professor Oak's assistants came by here and he seemed to be looking for you. Ah, now where am I to- oh! Do all of these have a random staircase? Oh, hello there! Where are you? Woo! Fuchsia City is just full of rare Pokémon! You're not allowed to catch any of them, though. The parents they belong to the city. Hmm. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. Uh, the professor told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 50 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you this wonderful item. So Lizzie, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 50 species of Pokemon? Through, uh, various methods, yes. Yes. Great, you have caught 53 species of Pokemon. I, I uh, object to the language there. I have not caught 53 species of Pokemon. I have had, at one point in time, Possession of 53 different species of Pokemon through means primarily of commerce. Let's just clear the air there, alright? Congratulations! Take- here, take this wonderful item. Oh, I don't have it? D did I lose it? Oh, so, so sorry, what shall I do? I don't have anything I can give you. Uh, I know. Wh what? This is just your street? It, yeah, it's rather inappropriate for you to- for, for, for a grown man like yourself to just get dressed in front of me. Uh, phew, uh, okay, here it is. You got an assistant set from Professor Oak's assistant. I made adjustments on my lab coat for you, and your Pokemon. My precious lab coat, please wear it with care. So what were you supposed to give me, if not, you know, literally the shirt off your back? I guess he was just taking off the coat. I mean, let's, uh, take a look at, uh, the new outfit we got. I do like the current... That's that's the town map. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, uh, clothing truck. There we go. Let's see what we got for Eevee. So, Eevee. Oh, what do we got? Assistant T. I mean, it's just like a white shirt. Honestly, not the biggest fan. We do have an assistant hat. Yeah, honestly, I don't like it. Let's go sports cap. And actually, I think it might be time to take off the glasses. There we go. Oh, and uh, let's see what it looks like with Lizzie. So we got the uh, assistant top. Okay. Yeah, pretty cute, I guess. Uh, assistant shorts. I'm not sure why it's always shorts. I mean, good thing this game does not take place in winter, that's for sure. Assistant cap. Uh, this is an assistant bag, I presume. Yeah, that's actually a pretty nice bag. 
Oh, and of course, assistant shoes. Okay, it is like in aggressively white outfits. Not sure I'm the biggest fan of wearing all of it at once, but uh, you know. I think the shorts could actually probably go well with some other outfits. Now, technically, we don't really need to be. Oops. <laughs> technically, we don't really need to be uh, going down this route at all, I don't think. Because, like, we don't really. Like, we've already. There's no location that we're like, trying to get to by going here. But it should, at the very least, provide us with a chance to level up our Pokemon at least a bit more before going. And, uh, what, taking on, like, the Elite Four or something? A Dodrio. Interesting. Well, I've got a Gyarados. Okay, we got a Dodrio here. Uh, we actually might want to think about what Pokemon we have at the front uh, once we get out of this battle. But for a Dodrio, I see no reason not to be outraged at its existence. Did we notice... I'm going to have to check this, but did we not go to, like, a Pokemon Center or something before we came out here? I'm not sure. It's a different session from last one, so... We very well may not have. Oh, that's tragic. Tragic, man. Okay. What the... Bell Sprouts, I think? Uh, no, that's not a Bell Sprouts. It's a Weepin' Bell. Same family, you know, different species, or... Actually, wait a minute. So the different levels of, like... The different... Okay. Uh, so we need to go get the Pokemon healed first. The different... Evolutions of Pokemon... Like, I guess th they should all technically be the same species, right? It's just at different points in that Pokemon's life cycle. Also, I think riding the- I could be wrong, but I think riding Aerodactyl here is giving us an actual, like, speed boost, which I appreciate. Could be wrong about that, but it feels like it's the case. Yeah, it's definitely the case. Alrighty. Yes, please heal me, Pokemans. I know, so we do really want to think about, because this is probably going to the last major opportunity we have to level up our Pokemon, and really thinking about who we want to be giving these levels to. Uh, so if we look at the party, I would say we probably want to focus on the lesser leveled Pokemon, just because this should be relatively easy for them to handle. And they should theoretically get more relatively out of facing Pokemon at about their level than like Mew would from fighting Pokemon like 5 or 10 levels under. Same goes for Eevee, Eevee and definitely Blastoise. So we're probably focusing on Hitmonchan, Aerodactyl, and Gyarados. I think I want to start with Hitmonchan. Actually, let's start with Aerodactyl. No, we don't want to change Aerodactyl's name. Uh, what we want to do is we want to move Aerodactyl. There we go. And then we'll also, probably when Aerodactyl starts getting low on health, we'll switch to Hitmonchan. And of course we can swap out, you know, based on, within the battle, based on, like, what makes sense for a given battle. But I think starting with Aerodactyl is perfectly fine. And Flying Rock is actually pretty decent, I think. I think that helps, like, counter some of the weaknesses. Like, for example, like, Flying I know is weak to electricity, but str Rock is strong against electricity. So, theoretically, Aerodactyl shouldn't be too vulnerable. But I guess we'll see how it goes. I raise Pokemon for protection because I live alone. Yeah. I mean, that's good for you, I suppose. Uh, although, honest question, have you ever heard about this thing called a gun? Lana. Okay, a Growlithe. See, this will be great because fire is not effective against rocks. Or did better not be, because, I mean, have you ever tried burning a rock? I did it. You know, didn't go well. Um, now, against a Growlithe, we don't really have anything that's particularly great. Well, rock could be effective. 
And dirt definitely would be, or not dirt, but grounds, because with the concept of like smothering, I guess that logic is carried over to rock as well. Smothering a flame into submission. Okay. Another Growlithe? Carry on, Lana. More rock slides. I'm happy with it. So I do kind of wonder, if we look at our team as a whole, what weaknesses do we have in particular? That our team as a whole is... What what types of Pokemon are we not really built to counter? I'm assuming this was another Growl, so I'm just going to keep Aerodactyl out there. I was correct. Um, let's see. So, I mean, definitely... Like, we're great against fighting, because Mew is a very strong Pokemon in our team, which is amazing against fighting type. Obviously, we're great against fire, just due to the sheer quantity of water types. Uh, that would probably also apply to rock. And possibly ground? I think also ground? We're not bad against poison, because Mew and Eevee both have moves that fairly effectively counteract it. Uh, for Ghost, we've got uh, some Dark-type moves. Uh, for Flying, we've got... Mew has an Electric Attack. Uh, Steel! Steel! What do we... What's good against Steel? Well, oh, Punk Guy Alex has sent out an Arbok. Ah, oh, Poison, that's... Well, I mean, I feel like Poison should be pretty ineffective against Rock, right? And it's a it's a rock. Here, let's use the rock slide. Okay, not super effective, but effective enough. How can you paralyze someone with a gl well, okay, I guess like paralyzed with fear, I guess would be the interpretation. So I guess that makes enough sense. Right, good job, Aerodactyl. That can't be true! Um, okay. Because of the paralysis, which will be really annoying to deal with, we're actually going to switch now to Hitmonchan at the front. Pick it, come on! I just got these off some loser! You admitting to stealing Pokemon? How dare you? Punk guy Ernest. I take Ernest issue with your uh, actions. Okay, a Primeape. Let's counter, that sounds fun. You gonna Karate Chop? Okay. Get countered? Eh. I'll be honest, I've been mildly underwhelmed with counter. Now, honestly, count... I guess it would be pretty useful against a higher leveled Pokémon, right? A Pokémon we were expecting to do a lot of damage to us. A Muck? That's poison? Um, hmm. Let's get Eevee out there. I know I said we weren't really wanting to focus on Eevee, but... Getting the poison status effects put on one of our Pokemon we're trying to level up right now would really not be great. So we're sending out Eevee instead. Just because poison is so annoying. Yeah, I feel like we do have an answer to just about every type of Pokemon. Like, I think Ice is good against Dragon. Dark might be good against Fairy, or that or Fairy is good against Dark, it's one of the two. Oh, come on! Come on! Really?
Yeah, that's not gonna save you, Muck. Okay. Let's double kick. Why do we still have this move? I keep talking about how I want to get rid of it. <laughs> Okay. Beats Punk Guy Ernest. I don't get it! Well, now I get your money. That's how this works. Allegedly. Yeah, three Ultra Balls. Sweet. I guess we'll uh, chop this down. Yep, let's do it. Oh, um, hi. Wait, you... Did that person not want to... Oh, we found Surf. You don't really need more water-type moves. Hi. Want to play with my Pokemon? Oh, we can try. You're challenged by Picnicker Yasmin. A Tangela. Do we still have a Fire Punch? We do. Because that Pokemon we're up against is just like a massive vine, so that's... Super effective, but not a one-hit kill. Wow. What are you... You're not allowed to grow? Oh, no matter. More fuel for the fire, that's what I say. Okay. Good job, Hitmonchan. Okay, what's next? Oh, Blastoise at level 61. A Sea King. Hmm. So that's Water type. We know Electric is good against Water. What else is good against Water? Definitely not Rock. Not Ice. Not fighting. I think we're gonna switch to Gyarados here. I don't think Gyarados has anything that's particularly effective against water, but water is ineffective against water, so it'll be a good defensive play. For some reason, I was thinking Sea King was that one crab Pokemon. Apparently it's not. Apparently I've been misled. Well, that went well. Oh, level 52 Mew. Well done. I was too impatient. Well, you live and learn, right? Why, well, hello there. The trainers around here are all very strong. I beg to differ, but go on. That's right, I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong? Shall be your battle opponent? Let's see what you got. Here I come! Midge. Coach Trainer Midge. Okay, we've got fighting versus fighting. What an interesting situation we find ourselves in. Let's try an ice punch. Seems like a nice punch to use in this situation. Critical hits. Brick break, eh? Not bad. Fire punch us. No, we should Brick Break. That that would have made more sense because it's the same type as Hitmonchan. Not that it's going to matter. Alright, good work, Hitmonchan. A Magmar, eh? 
I clearly we need a Pokemon with some water. So Gyarados, let's do it. Although actually, uh, Aerodactyl would have worked too because Rock is good against fire. A lot of things are good against fire. Come to think of it, you know, rock, water, I'm sure ground, and there's probably more. Um, waterfall. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. Being on fire is a rather fragile state to maintain, typically. Or at least that's my experience from all of my time camping. <laughs> now I've trained you too. I and mean, if it helps your psyche thinking about it that way, I won't argue too hard against it, but... Really? I see the flame of potential in you. Let me give you a TM worthy of your skill. Oh, Fire Punch. Okay, we don't really need that, but okay. You can even get an opponent burn if you're lucky. Okay, moving on. And there's lots of trainers around here. I definitely want to get some battles going. Let's grab this Pokeball first. wonder what it is. A Hyper Potion. Okay, thank you. I uh, will gladly accept that. Boo. Have you heard the legend of the winged mirages? No. Should I? Is it interesting? Is it compelling? Is it true? Bird Keeper, Donald? Afira. I fear this not. Um, let's brick break ya. Okay. It is a bit of a wash because... Oh, wow. Good job toughening it out at Munchen. Okay. Let's brick break. And then you're, you're out for whatever he's bringing up next. Ah, critical hit. Very nice, very nice. I do love me a critical hit from time to time. Hitmonchan grew to level 48. Okay. A Pidgeot. We will certainly switch. Now the question is to whom? Let's go with Gyarados. Now, let's, let's give Aerodactyl a shot. Rock-Flying is an interesting combination. Rock and Flying. Rocks don't fly very frequently, in my experience. Not unless I've taken aim at someone's head, you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's fly! Use an air slash? How dare ya? How air ya? What? Paralyzed? Uh, mm. Come on, Aerodactyl. Work through it. Don't just let yourself get... Y you flinched now. Oh, come on. Aerodactyl. You gotta do something. Anything. Okay, and now... Aerodactyl. If you do not fly this turn, so help me. Not very effective. Oh, come on! Alright, you're out. You're out. You're finished. You're through. You're fired. Gyarados. Show me how it's done. An air slash? How quaint. Okay. Time to hydro pump this bird. Uh, 
There we go. See? Is it that difficult to actually use your moves? I don't think so. Alright, and just a bit of waterfall ought to be good. Does this bird know anything else? Uh, 841 XP, 701 XP, okay. Oh, level 50 Eevee, very nice, very nice. Later, Dawn, why, why'd I lose? I mean, you almost didn't, well, even if Aerodactyl had fallen, we had a lot of other po um, hi? I'll bat you with my favorite Pokemon that I traded with my friends. We still have Hitmonchan at the front, don't we? Challenged by Ace Trainer Kindra! A Vaporeon! Ooh, interesting. Alright, uh, Hitmonchan, you're out of there. Gyarados, you're in there. Yes, I know Mew is more effective, but we're not trying to level Mew here, we're trying to level our other Pokemon. Surf. I guess we probably could take a look, because we got the Surf TM pretty recently, didn't we? We could take a look and see what it actually does, just, you know, on the off chance. It might be better than, like, Waterfall or Hydro Pump, maybe, who knows? Hmm. Got any other feathers in your cap? You better hope you do, because this one's not very effective. That's some good XP. A Dodria. We'll keep Gyarados out there. Gyarados can continue the outrage. A drill pack, eh? We'll probably switch out after this. Eh, good thing it completely eliminated Dodrio. A sand slash. We will switch to Aerodactyl, I guess. Yeah, Aerodactyl being flying should actually be uh, quite well suited. To uh, fight Sand Slash. Get crunched. Ha! And your defense fell too. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have a rough time if your only moves are ground and <laughs> normal moves. And actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't a normal type move be, like, weak twice over against Aerodactyl? Because, like, I know for certain, I'm, I was almost traumatized with the fact that normal type moves are very ineffective against rock Pokemon, but theoretically I would think they'd also be pretty weak against flying, too. Like, when was the last time you tried to use a normal type move against, like, a bird? It's tough, they, like, just fly away. Not good enough. I guess I could have put different emphasis on that statement. It could have been, not good enough. Yeah, I don't know. 
Anyways, let us go back and get some heals in. Ooh. I will say, I do take at least mild issue with the uh, placements of this Pokemon Center. It's just in a somewhat inconvenient place to access. Okay, off we go. Uh, 